Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make methods in a very simple little program. So we're going to create a little program, Java with Ant Java application, and we'll call it um, Practice Methods. And I click Finish. And here's our little program. So what we're going to do is remove these um, comments. I've got a little shortcut that removes them. And remember to set up your shortcuts um, and record your macros over here so that you've got nice shortcuts. Okay. So now we're going to just declare a string called name, one called surname, and we'll declare an integer called age and a double called height. Okay. We're going to input all of those variables, name equals option pen oops wrong shortcut i've got shortcuts set up for my job option pen dot put dialog and integer dot percent job option pen dot show put dialog so input your name then surname equals job option pen dot show put dialog input your surname now if you go control shift i it's going to get rid of this. It's going to automatically do the import for you. Or you can click on the light bulb and click add import. And you see that line at the top gets added. And there's your import done for J the J option pane um, class. OK. And then we need to say age equals integer dot pass in J option pane dot show input dialog. Input your age, semicolon, and then height equals this one is double dot pass double to j option pain dot show input dialog input your um height okay so we've done all our declarations of variables we've done all our input we could separate them with a blank line now we need to do our output so we're going to just display all of this data um name colon space plus name i told you this was a boring program okay surname colon space plus surname the point is i want to show you how to um do methods so we first got to have a program to do methods on and height colon space plus height right so we've got a little program, it looks fine, it fits on a page, it's not messy, but we want to practice using methods. So that's the idea of this little program. Now if we want to put, say, all the input in a method, we want to put all of that into a method, that will be called our input method, and then we want to put all of that into a method, and we'll call that the output method, then we need to make sure that our variables, which we are using, in those um, commands are available throughout the class. So I'm going to have to declare those outside the main method. So I can use them anywhere in the class. Remember when they're declared there, they're only available between these two curly brackets. So if I wanted them to be available between those two curly brackets, I've got to make sure that I declare them within those two curly brackets. So I'm going to cut that Control X, I'm going to click here, make space and Control V. So now they are declared there. Do you see that all of these lines go a bit berserk because these are not static variables. Because this is a static method and these have to be static variables to be available there. So I'm going to have to put the word static in front to make sure that these variables are static, so I can use them throughout the class. Okay, now everybody's happy. I'm going to go Alt-Shift-F to make sure my indentation looks good. Alt-Shift-F. Okay, now I'm going to make a new method called input. This is the main method. It starts at that yellow bracket, ends there. So after that yellow bracket, I'm going to go Enter, Enter, I'm going to make a new method called input. Go to say public static void input. 
bracket bracket. That's going to be the name of the method. I put a curly bracket there, enter, and it means automatically enters the second curly bracket for me. So I've got the framework for my method now. This method called input. It's a void method. That means it doesn't send back any data. And there's nothing in the brackets, so no parameters. Very simple method. And I'm going to put all of this code. Now I can highlight it and just drag it there. Isn't that cool? Okay. So um, that is my input method. And now to make sure that this method actually happens, I need to call it. I need to say input bracket bracket semicolon inside the main method because that's going to make sure that this method gets called and run. Okay. We're going to do the same for the output. So I'm going to come here to the end of the input method, put public static void output bracket bracket curly bracket and I'm going to do my output and I'm going to again highlight all of that code and drag it between the two curly brackets. Do you see where I am? Here between the two curly brackets of the output method. Let go and there's my code for the output. So I've got an output method and I'm going to call that method from the main method. I need to call it by saying output bracket bracket semicolon. Let's just indent again. I'll shift F, make things look pretty. I'm going to delete that blank line, delete that blank line. There you go. This code is going to do exactly the same as it was doing previously, but I've got my code in methods. And now it's very easy. Somebody who looks at your code can easily see, okay, this method's called input. That's where all the input happens. This method's called output. That's where all the output methods happens. Okay, we better run it, make sure it works. So input your name, let's put Marguerite, let's put um, Smith, and let's put the age, 20, and the height, 1.7, and there you go, there's all the output. Now you want to maybe want to get a little bit more fancy, you want to determine whether this person is a teenager or not. So we're going to make another method, say public static void is teenager. All right. And in this method, we're just going to say if age is greater than or equal to 13, oops, equal to 13 and age is less than or equal to 8 to 19 then we're going to print this is your or you are a teenager and else SOUT tab gives you system that out a print line you are not a teenager and we could call this is teenager method from inside the output method is teenager. Just to show you that you can call a method from inside another method, okay? And I'm not going to bother running that, but if you want to try this out, you'll see it works perfectly. So that's just to show you how methods work. There's what the code looks like. Remember to declare your variables outside above the main method and then you create all your little methods below the main method and you call them from inside the main method. And that's all for today. See you next time.